I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House floor debated in gross second substitute House Bill 1365 concerning school computers and devices. The bill passed the House 59-39, moving on to the Senate for consideration. Now, I know that school districts all around the state have been doing a wonderful job. Rural districts have different unique problems than suburban districts. And there are tech levies that are uh, coming up at different points in time, and they choose what to do with those dollars. But the reality is that a one-to-one -one initiative is critically important at this point in time to ensure that all students have a learning device that is adequate for their needs. Lots of changes to this bill as it was being uh, put together. Uh, but as she also stated, cost, cost, we're in COVID. And, the, and what we're doing is just raising more taxes for our folks to be paying. Do we need computers across the board? Most of the districts that I know of, the 295 districts in the state, um, have acquired computers for their kids. I, I genuinely appreciate the intent, uh, but as someone who's worked for decades in the software engineering field, um, I, I would note that this has a lot of uh, paradigm shifting in it that I think is going to be detrimental to our students. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that when we adjourned last year, uh, the governor immediately put into place a three county wide um, closure of schools, followed the next day by a statewide closure of schools. I referred to this um, a few days ago when I talked about just how uh, much our students, our schools, and our educators have been leading us on how to move back to what is going to be our new normal. Uh, I think there's some good elements to it that could help out a lot. Um, and we do have to keep in mind that uh, it is a paramount duty uh, of this body to provide ample means for education for all the students in the state. Um, but I've got to remind you, there's there's a reason I'm sitting here in Olympia today is because we do not have adequate in internet in uh, most of rural Washington. Uh, some other strange places in the state are really underserved too. Um, it, it, you can buy all the equipment you want, all the computers, all the devices. Uh, if you don't have reliable internet or fast enough internet, it doesn't help a bit. But the resources were not there. This bill provides that opportunity for those school districts that still need that support. If it's true that when students return to classroom learning, they will still need uh, technological tools, then it seems to me and to the families of my district, and I think to families all around the state, that that is a priority uh, that should be put second to the top priority, which is to get those kids back in school. It is one of the most important bills we are considering this session. It is about equity and equity in our education and serving our students um, in this current crisis, as well as in the future, in terms of what they need for learning and what they need is technology. I don't hear one student asking for a new device. What they're asking for is to be back in school with their friends, back in school with a caring, loving teacher. One more time today, Mr. Speaker, I heard of another student, 15-year-old student who committed suicide because of depression. This new normal is not working. The kids want to be back in school with caring, loving teachers, not a device. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News covering the 2021 legislative session.